Hey there, I'm John Zimmerman with Upper Creek Angler and we're tying um, a really special fly to me today. It's one of my dad's all-time favorite patterns. Uh, it's a, um, a beaded crackleback. And um, in all honesty, um, I rarely get outfished these days, but if I'm on the water with somebody and he's outfishing me, it's most likely my dad, and dad is 100% of the time fishing a crackleback. So this is a super successful pattern, at least for my dad. He seems to have some kind of voodoo magic when it comes to fishing this fly. And... The original version of this fly, it was a, a dry fly pattern that dad would fish um, up and across and as it made its way down and would would swing out, he would snatch it underwater and strip back to him, sometimes holding it in the current and the, the fish would just come get it. But um, today we're tying it as dad has uh, begun tying it mostly as a nymph pattern with a big bead on it. And um, I'm adding a little bit of my competition fishing flair to it by um, using some bright orange thread. As you can see, we have um, already loaded on the the shank of the hook and uh, a big tungsten slotted bead on a, a jig hook. Uh, so this is fulfilling kind of dad's properties of the fly as a, a quick sinker, but putting it on a jig hook so that it we don't lose as many of them on the, the river bottom. So we'll just take our thread and, and go back to the the back of the hook here and start tying in our materials. We're going to tie in first a series of um, peacock curl threads, peacock curl stems. And I'm going to tie four in. And these are going to come over the hackle that we're going to tie in, in in just a moment. And then we'll take our thread right back down. The next thing that we're going to tie in is a, um, a brown hackle with a um, black stripe down the middle. For Dad, this is uh, relatively critical. And we're going to tie this in with the tip forward so that the the fly gains hackle length as it moves forward. So you can see how I've kind of spread those hackle fibers out to create a tie-in point here. And we'll just advance this up using the the bulk of whatever that hackle can provide us to add um, any density that it can to our overall taper and then we'll come back down and open spiral wraps to the back and um, tie in our dubbing so so after we have tied in the peacock curl and the hackle we need to decide on a, um, a dubbing color for this and the color that dad used the most when we were growing up was yellow um, I don't think either of us will ever forget going into a, a fly shop in the mountains and a, um, a good old fly fishing country boy um, said to dad when he asked what we needed to fish, he said, quote, doesn't matter as long as it's got yellow in it. And so that kind of cemented a lot of the, the patterns that dad and I started fishing when we were growing up. When I was growing up and dad was learning to fly fish and tie flies. So I'm going to tie this in yellow. Despite that, you can use um, any number of dubbing colors for this to match the, the bugs that you have in um, in your neck of the woods. So we want to dub a, a dubbing noodle here that's going to help us uh, work on the taper. So it should go from thinner to thicker. And we'll come up the shank of the hook. And as we need to, we will add some additional dubbing. The, this camera lens is super close to the hook, so I can't do it all in, in one fell swoop. And we'll bring this uh, dubbing as we get finished with it all the way uh, to the bead. Uh, 
Um, and I have, um, it's been one of those flies that I just, I don't want to believe in, except that um, I get my butt kicked on it when my dad and I are fishing together. So now we'll palmer this hackle forward to the top of the fly. And tie it off just in front of the bead. Snip the hackle out and pull these uh, peacock hurls right over top. Couple wraps in front. Give them a twist to easily cut them out. And then either with some super glue or some Sally Hansons or some other form of, of head cement, load your thread with a varnishing agent and um, go ahead and uh, whip finish this down. So my version of this does include a, um, it's not a kind of competition style uh, hot spot collar with some fluorescent orange thread and a jig hook so that I don't lose as many of them. But otherwise, this is the um, the bug that if I'm going to get my butt kicked by somebody, it's going to be uh, by my dad fishing this fly. So um, I hope you catch some fish on it. And um, if you do, attribute it to my pops who um, took us out fishing when um, when it would have been easier to, to stay at home. So the, um, the guy who taught us to tie flies and took us fishing still kicks our butt uh, fishing this fly. Happy tying.